Hello everyone, I'm Torior and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 with the Kaiser Reich mod as the United States of America and we are finishing up the Russian Empire, let's continue. We have nuked them several times, but nukes don't seem to have that much an effect on national unity anymore. So we just have to trust our tanks, which are doing a marvelous job. You know what, I'm going to modify my orders. I don't want to expand the Ukrainian territory, for example. I only want to expand my own territory. Which means we're going to limit the front line to the territories that we ourselves control. And that should be helpful. Shouldn't it? Okay, that is it here. As for the other side, why are you guys not attacking? Well, you are, but it's taking you a while because these provinces are large and also we have tanks in the mountains. How are we doing with logistics? Oh, good news, we are producing enough mechanized to soon not be, you know, under budget with them, let's say. Then we can maybe add more to our units. I also have a lot of outdated light tanks, which I theoretically could add to the front lines, but I can't be bothered to do that if we have an army that doesn't need such help. Ooh, another adjustment is required. Unless the Ukrainians want to give me this land. Hey, Ukraine, do you want to give me this land? Oh, it says that I am the controller. So when this is taken, will I attain control of the territory? Let's make sure. Want to give me these? No, you do not control them, apparently. How about these? Do you want to give me control of these? You do not. Well, you will give me this one. Well, let's cancel this for now. Okay, so if I theoretically control these, I might actually extend the front line to what it was a moment ago. And let our troops help out there. How far are they from capitulation? Not far at all. Let's drop a few more nukes when we still can. Is there any difficult location? Yes, here's one. Any other difficult location? Well, this is not a difficult location, but I could nuke the one behind it. And maybe something with some victory points? I don't really know. Suppose... There's four units here. Let's nuke them. Just so we can use up the bonds. Boom. Hmm. Oh. This looks like a prime target for nuking. And so does this. Just look at the battle indicators. They're going to change drastically. Nuclear weapons. So effective. Okay, I can basically stop paying attention now because they're about to capitulate. No, they aren't. They have somehow increased their national unity. Don't know how, don't really care how, because just a few more moments and we'll have everything we need. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of victory points available from here on. But we're advancing on all the fronts. Just do a manual attack. You, go here. There's victory points here. Logistics Company 4. Let's do the field hospital. Engineer Company 4 is done. Night Vision is done. And once again, we have almost nothing to research. I'm going to research the radars just because... Oh, that didn't take much time. That also did not take much time. This is going to take a bit more time. Uh, do I have an air doctrine to research, maybe? I do. Night bombing or day bombing? Wait, didn't I already do this? Oh, right, I started researching it and then stopped. Because I needed the slot for something else. Oh, resistance to occupation. I should address that. 
Let's be nice to them. Nice and friendly to our new subjects. As you can see, a motorized slash mechanized slash tank unit can advance very quickly. Taking Bukhara, will that be enough to make them give up? Not yet. Okay, where's your new capital? I need to go there. Do you even have a new one? There's one up here. Here you go, Arkhangelsk. This is five victory points. Which might just be sufficient. Okay, our guys have been cut off, but they have a lot of supplies saved up and they can actually go on for quite a long time. Actually, let's cut across their territory. Now the Russians, once that, and once I've done this, the Russians are diluting their forces quite a lot to cover the extended front lines. Which means they are weakening the more important spots, even if I have to sacrifice this one unit, just diverting all these forces would be worth it. Oh, I know why he's moving so slowly, I forgot to change him to aggressive. Silly. Okay then, Arkhangelsk, is it mine yet? It is not, but almost. Come on, should I nuke it? Can I nuke it? No, we don't have our superiority, it doesn't matter. Have you? Yes. Yes, you have. Oh no, the Germans have taken things. Why would you take things, Germans? I wanted them. The things, I mean. Okay, first let's annex my click. And then, oh yes, the Siberian cheap provinces. Looking so good on the map, even though they're not that useful. So good looking. Okay, I suppose I'll just take cheap stuff. Although... Although, I suppose I could cut the Germans off. Like, take Moscow and so on. Maybe they would curb their imperial ambitions if I did that. I mean, for example, we can have that, I'll take all the rest. Will that work? That's too much already. Okay, this will kind of work. Let's do this. If I cut them off like this... Will this have the desired effect? Probably not, but it doesn't hurt to try. In the meantime, let's take some more stuff. Oh, too much, too much, too much. Okay, I'm gonna pass one so I have enough points. Take more. Okay, the Germans have taken stuff down here. And does it really matter? No, not that much. Equal states is way too much. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pass again. And again. And then I'm gonna take everything that's left. Thank you. Now we have an isolated pocket the size of Belarus. We choose to be Belarus. Well, that's fine. Thank you very much for this war, Russian Empire and Germany. We took 90 bloody states. All right. If I left the faction with the Germans, would they attack me? Ooh, free military factories. Well, you all know what I'm going to produce. The war tracks. And tons of them. I feel like I should exit a faction. I feel like I should get ready to fight the Germans. We don't have enough political power to attack the Entente, so we kinda have to make them attack us. The fate of Central Asia. Keep up military occupation. Same with you guys. And also, same with you guys and you guys. That, again, means we will have no political power whatsoever. But who needs political power when you've annexed Austria, Hungary, Italy, France, Spain, Portugal, Britain, and large chunks of everything else? And Japan. So, um, I'll wait a couple of days, maybe the political situation will change somehow. Maybe, for example, we will become hated. Mm, apparently we have not become hated. Germany, do you like me? You do like me. 
Not sure why I might leave the faction and then they'll hate me and attack me, maybe. How about Canada? Do you hate me, Canada? You kind of do, yes. Which means if I left the faction, you might attack me. You probably wouldn't, but you might. Alright, how many troops do I need to keep in America? Hmm. What? I would need more than this. It's, that's that. Okay, so, um, do we have any unassigned troops? We do have one. Here you go. Okay, so. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the faction, which will probably make the Germans attack me. Or perhaps somebody else. Which means I will have to station my troops close to all my borders with the faction members. So we'll need an army here, or preferably two. We'll need an army here. Actually, no, we could have one here, one here, one here. And possibly one down here. Yep, yeah, that could also work. I will also want to take Tokyo. Uh, should I split you up into more armies? Yes, yes, I should. Do we have any more field marshals? We do have generals. Which means the armies would have to be smaller. Eh, no matter. Oh, wait a minute, you're the, you are the Canada attack guy. Alright. Let's, uh... Switch things up a bit. 24, and we're going to give you a general instead of field, of a field marshal. And we'll do the same here. You will be securing our borders with the Canadian neighbors. This guy looks like Scott Bakula almost. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Alright, did we... No, whatever. Oh, I have the wrong guy selected. Screw that. Uh, select you. Attack here. Good. Now, you, half of you, will be assigned to uh, this side of the front lines. And also attack north. Make sure you are super aggressive. And engage the orders. Now... Mark Arthur, my friend, you are going to cover the Qing borders, and if the Entente attack, move over to the Dominion of India. I could also attack from this side, but um, I don't really think I really don't think that's the best idea for us. So what we're going to do with you is put you on the Qing border. Oh, there's two. I hate it when the front lines split up. Okay, attack. Difficult terrain, yes, I know. Now, half of you are going to be stationed on the other side of this. Crap, I did not select. And the troops to add to the front line, that's better. Now I can attack from here. Do not activate this because they will go into the Allied territory. And just a few of you will travel to Japan, where you will take Tokyo from our German friends. Once the war starts, of course. Now you are going to... Actually, I should split these armies up a bit. Okay, we'll need a huge army on this side. A smaller one here and a smaller one here. Alright, I'm going to split this guy's army in a half. You are going to be assigned over to the German border, here. Not like this, not through Poland, because Poland is allied with Germany, so once we break the alliance, they will also be an enemy. Actually, yeah, we'll need these forces all over the area. Do I really need to put troops in this bit that used to be uh, Belarus? Probably not. 
Probably not. Let's not do that. They do need to put troops over here. I do need to put troops over here. Oh, crap. Let's grab this. We'll extend the front line once the fighting starts. And perhaps some of you down there? Hmm. No, for now this is sufficient. This army is going to be split in two again you will take care of this side of germany of course to be extended later on and you'll have some good guy like eisenhower and you are going to take care of uh, this bit down here and you're going to be led by mm, Actually, he's better. Van Voris. Let's use him. Okay, we have left quite a lot of troops um, up on the Canadian border. But uh, they might attack when we're no longer in an alliance. Oh, actually, I could attack Liberia. If I... Yeah, they're all out with the Germans, so if I leave the faction, I don't need to wait for them to attack me. I can just attack them myself. I should probably put some troops in Africa, too. Can I deploy that in the new units already? Maybe we should deploy them, even though they're not ready. No, I suppose I can wait a little bit until they're trained, and then I can deploy them all over the place. Like, deploy some here, some here, and wherever else. Down here as well. You know, just have them cover everything in our troops. Still, just... Oh. The Philippines have decided to be independent. Why? Also, why... Well, more importantly, why can't I immediately declare war on them? Because I don't want to allow this to happen. Hmm. Oh, well. Should I add more tanks to my units? No, probably not. They would have shit defense if I did. Wouldn't it be cool to go all tanks? Nah, probably not. Okay, there's pr practically nothing else for me to research. I'm just do synthetic all because I have the slots. Ooh, Air Force. I almost forgot. Right, we're gonna be nuking the Germans, which means... Boom, and boom, Berlin. Oh, sorry, that's the bomber. You just go there, then. Berlin is here. We're going to be nuking a lot of Germany. There and there. And uh, I suppose here and here. There's also 500 guys down here. Uh, I suppose I can send them over to... Hmm. Oh, we will be attacking Poland as well, because they're allied. Let's let them transfer. Good. That kind of works. Oh, wait a minute. I sent them both to the same region. Yes, I did. Well, that's a waste. I don't need this. Hmm. I suppose I could send some to Ukraine. We will be fighting them as well. That's better. All right. Day bombing. And tank stuff. Okay then. Is this one strategic bomber enough? Oh, there's too many planes here. No, no, there isn't. Is this one strategic bomber enough to bomb all of this? Yes, yes, it is enough. Okay, so now I'm just gonna wait for these troops to deploy so I can put them in different places and then we attack our current German allies. Hmm, Canada seems well defended, but this is only a defensive plan. I don't intend to attack them yet. 
probably don't intend to attack them ever, because I will never, ever have the political power to pull that off. Just look at this. But what I can do is attack the Germans. Oil plant, yeah, whatever, just continue doing this. Where did I, where did I assign you? Actually, he could probably use more troops. He could probably use more troops. I'm going to paint a new front line for him. And then we'll assign some new troops there. Field Hospital 4. Cool. Endless manpower and so on. Well, not really endless, but a lot of manpower. Um, I really don't have anything else to research. I could... I don't know. Modern self-propelled self -propelled artillery. Why not? It's powerful. Ooh, I almost forgot. I could do a variant of my tank. I should do a variant of my tank. Where's my tank? Here it is. Modern tank, another one. Oh. Well, that is good enough. A5, let's make sure all the other ones are obsolete. Yeah, I am not producing patterns, even though they're bad in turn, because they cost twice as much production to produce. And if I were building an army from the ground up right now, I might use them. But reorganizing the divisions to fit modern tanks would waste my medium tanks and also wouldn't be that great. Well, theoretically, I could, you know, use almost all medium tanks and some modern ones. Oh, we don't need to do that. Medium... Mediums are wi working well enough. Alright, so how about that training? Should I just deploy them and be done with it? I mean, they're going to be amazingly powerful anyway, even if they're green. And they're going to earn experience in the field. And that would let us start fighting faster. Yeah, let's just deploy them. All right, and that is all the troops we will be producing, I think. Modern self-propelled self -propelled artillery. Let's deploy all of them. Which means I can produce, I don't know, let's research the Pershing or whatever. So we have 50 more mm, tanks. Now let's take... Hmm, how many should I take? Well, for now, let's just add them to an empty army, so that it's easier to manage them. Let's take 10, let's say. Here you go. And I was supposed to add some to Africa. Is Tripolitania allied with Germany? It is not. Well, that simplifies things a little bit. Okay, I'm going to split you into different armies. Give you some generals. Oh, fort attacks. Cool. Do you have any skills? Artillery attack. Oh, arm and stuff. You don't have skills, so I'm going to replace you with someone that does. You do have skills. You do have skills. Oh, you don't. Here you go. That is good enough. Now, the four guys that we have here, we're going to assign to new front lines. One goes there. And one goes there. We'll be adjusting the front lines accordingly when uh, the fighting starts, of course. And here. Should I, should I send someone to Thailand or should I ignore that? I should probably ignore that. Wait a minute. Who owns this? Union of what? Union of Burma. Hmm. Okay, let, let's let's send you guys to Thailand. Just split you between these two front lines. And let's paint attack orders. 
here you go. But let us not execute them yet. Okay, where are you? You know what, let's, let's let them travel to their respective destinations first. It will be easier to actually, you know, organize where they're supposed to go. Improved all plans, whatever. Are we going to lose the German Economy Corporation bonus if we exit the Alliance? Probably. Also, I don't have any troops in South America, so if the Entente attacks me, they can launch a huge attack from here. But it will take them a long time, since, you know, difficult terrain. I should relocate uh, these planes here. They'll get there eventually. Okay, it's going to take them a while to get when, where they're supposed to go. But it is also time for me to end the episode. So in the next one, uh, we're going to start a war against the Germans. And annex everything, and then wait for the Entente to attack us. Or end the campaign there, because we don't have political power to attack them. Irish are our friends. Yes, yes, uh, they are. Our ideology has grown again. Wonderful. Perhaps we can go to very high popularity. Very high popularity requires us to have 80%. So that's still far off. But if we were to have another election and win it, then we could do that. Okay, 48 uh, divisions, I think, might be sufficient to defeat the Canadians. Uh, but I also think... We should send some to South America, just in case. Again, nothing to research, uh, whatever, really. This is being researched, this I don't need. Oh, right, let's do that one. It's going to occupy the research slot for a long time. You are going to get a general. Congratulations. And you're going to South America. Just like that. And also, just in case. Perfect. Okay, I don't think... Um, I think we have pretty much given all the orders we need to give. Still, our people need to get in position. It's not as easy as it might seem. I still need to give them new orders, but we'll do that once uh, once we have actually exited the Alliance. Also, the factories are done, but it's all, there's always something to do. Uh, still, it's now time to end the episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.